Nurses at one of Seattle's biggest hospitals have set a date to go on a strike. Unless a last minute deal is reached, thousands could walk off the job by January 28th. King 5's Amy Marino is live outside the hospital's First Hill campus tonight with what's next for patients. Amy. Yeah, here at Swedish First Hill, the plan right now is for a three day strike starting on January 28th in the morning, wrapping up on the morning of the 31st. Now, the hospital says for now they're planning on scaling back on some elective surgeries and they're going to bring in some uh, replacement workers from out of state. Their hope is that this won't impact patient care, but nurses say patients here are already being impacted. Going out on a strike would be our last resort. Both sides hoped it wouldn't come to this, but time and patience seem to be running out on months of bargaining between Swedish Providence and the union that represents thousands of nurses and technical and service caregivers. We're not going to sound these alarms for nothing. It's my job to take care of people, and I'm telling you right now that I cannot take care of you to my highest capability in the conditions in which we're working in. And this is one of the best proposals we have ever offered our caregivers. And so to see that uh, there was a decision to issue a strike notice today is extremely disappointing to me. Margo Baikonin is the hospital's chief nursing officer. She thinks they offered a package that was near the top of the market. They're now preparing to bring in fill-in workers. And so what happens is caregivers from across the country will fly into Seattle and for the uh, five day period, um, we will orchestrate a replacement process. The hospital says they've tried to work with nurses over concerns about staffing and safety, but believe statistics show the hospital has a good safety record. One longtime nurse says since Providence took over, she warns friends not to come here alone. If you need to be hospitalized at Swedish, you should have somebody with you the entire time who can help make sure that you're getting the care that you deserve. And this strike is still more than a week away, but the hospital says right now they need their staff to focus on preparing for the strike so they don't intend on going back to the bargaining table anytime soon. We're live tonight outside Swedish First Hill. Amy Marino, King 5 News. Thank you, Amy.